Take one. Hey, everybody. Well, I don't know if I need this yet or not. Oh, uh, getting a little bit slower start today. Um, but that's understandable. I've done quite a bit in the past three or four days. I spent half the day yesterday washing clothes and everything. That was kind of not really demanding, but when you've been feeling bad already and then physically I deal with certain things, that is a pretty good uh, productive day for me. You know, like at the end of the day, I can feel everything I did. But um, this is to read from Living a Life of Awareness by Don Miguel Ruiz Jr. Uh, Daily Meditations on the Toltec Path. Uh, and I ordered a used copy of this um, just yesterday. Uh, it could be here in about a week, probably. And I'm going to be, I'm going to have that as one of the, as something I'm going to give away this month or whenever it comes in and between now and then I'll might have another book with it or a crystal or something nice I still got to think about a toy for my action figure people I want to offer a comic book or a action figure I hadn't figured out what is going to go on with that yet but why don't we get down to the nitty gritty uh, breaking free of judgment. The fear of unconditionally loving yourself only comes from the conditions you've placed on yourself. Every time you don't live up to your self-imposed conditions, your internal judge says, I have failed or I am not worthy. These judgments are often reinforced by others who have, who have a need to impose conditions upon us. But their strength only comes from your endorsement of their validity. As your domestication becomes complete, you set up an elaborate eternal defense, internal defense system that self-strengthens by denying the opportunity to even question these negative thoughts. This is where fear stems from. Protecting ourselves from the poison that these judgments give. The good news is that it only requires a single step to begin to break free. As soon as we question our beliefs, the walls of its support begin to collapse. Practice. To love yourself unconditionally requires but a single step, saying, yes, I am worthy of my own love. That's kind of like an underlying tone through the whole book, I think trying to get a person to a point of because once we learn to accept ourselves it's a lot easier to start sharing that acceptance with other people and accepting more people and sharing more love uh, oh, but first you gotta learn you gotta be able to do it for yourself as well first importantly but I wanted to read a little segment here from the Fifth Agreement. It was uh, just another paragraph I wanted to share real quick. Kind of coincides with everything. Uh, so, uh, wherever you go around the world, you will hear all kinds of opinions and stories from other people. You will find great storytellers wanting to tell you what you should do with your life. You should do this. You should do that. You should do whatever. Don't believe them. Be skeptical, but learn to listen, and then make your choices. Be responsible for every choice you make in your life. This is your life. It's nobody else's life. And you will find that it's nobody else's business what you do with your life. Yeah, I agree. Uh, as long as, you, you know, I, if what you're doing in your life is not directly affecting anybody else or harming them or putting anybody in harm's way, have at it as long as it ain't interfering in my daily routines or making my life an inconvenience uh you know what i mean like i think it's about respect like and depending on where you're living you have to think about it more you know like if i was living in a more congested area in a town and was around people more i'd have to think about um 
things a little more just because I know how to act accordingly based on where I'm at. Sometimes it's not necessary to be cussing or uh, uh, talking about certain subjects. Sometimes it's just best to know your surroundings in general, I think. I think that goes with anything, don't it? Well, I'm going to get off here. Uh, I'm not feeling the greatest today, but I'm not feeling the worst. My body's still a little the So, uh, I've just about finished all my dishes and had done just a little bit of reading on the fifth agreement and then pre-read this and was like, okay, I had that in mind. And uh, I also got to think about the way of the wizard today. Uh, if I don't do anything else today, I'll at least have that going. And I've got some ideas for tomorrow for comic books and toys. Everybody have a good day. Until next time, Mr. Klaus says the eternal moment. Over and out. Ditto.